making class. Today I will be teaching us how to make fondant with a recipe that is called egg white recipe. It's a special recipe. There are so many recipes that you can use when you want to make fondant. There's gelatin recipe, there is hot water recipe. You understand? But today we are using egg white to make our fondant. So I have here a sifted icing sugar, 500 grams. Always know that you have to sieve your icing sugar when you want to make your fondant. I have here CMC. It's a short form of this word carbon methoxyl cellulose. CMC. What it does, it does is the one that makes your fondant to have a grid texture. When your fondant is too watery, it's sticky. So when you apply CMC, it will make the fondant to have a grid texture. This is glucose. This is not the glucose we are used to, you know, but this is the baking glucose. Now, I have my egg here, a medium-sized egg. It's what you need at a room temperature, not the egg you just pick from the fridge, an egg in a room temperature. Then I have my water, normal water, not hot, not cold, your normal water. Then our measuring spoon, half teaspoon, one teaspoon, and half tablespoon. These are our measuring cup. So follow as we start. So all the ingredients have been added. Now you continue to put the dry into the wet. You can see. Now when you are working with fondant, you have to work faster. Put the dry into the wet and continue kneading. Put the dry into the wet. The dry. It's the icing sugar here, be putting it on the wet, the wet, the glucose, the egg white, and the water. Are you getting me? Yes. So put it, continue kneading, please. You have to walk fast. Continue. Continue kneading. You knead with your palm. It's here. Continue. Till you exhaust all the dry ingredients, which is the icing sugar, the CMC. The icing sugar, the CMC, are the dry ingredients here, while the glucose, egg whites, and water are the ingredients. Can we see? Continue kneading. Continue, sit where I'm kneading. Your, if you follow this recipe, your fondant will not be too watery or sticky. Make sure you exhaust the dry in there because it's part of the recipe. Now, after you have gathered all the dry ingredients, continue kneading. Knead, knead to have a smooth fondant. Stretch out, knead, knead. Form a round bowl when you're finished. Do we see? Yes, see how stretchy it is? Do we see? Yes. We want to cover our dummy with this fondant. Sprinkle some icing sugar. Dust it. Dust your table with some icing sugar, so that it prevents your fondant from sticking to the table. Now our fondant has rested enough. It has rested enough. So still make a round ball. This is a rolling pin. You need a rolling pin when you want to roll your fondant. Can we all see? I am dusting my rolling pin after I've dusted the table so that it does not stick to the fondant. The fondant is already having something that will not make it stick. Now the rolling pin must be dusted too so that it does not stick. Pla place your hand at the center. Put the rolling pin at the center. Let your two hands be at the edge of your rolling pin. Now you roll to the front. You roll to the back. Now, you don't roll forever. Stop. Turn your fondant. 
the other way around and don't forget to still dust your table roll if you are covering a round cake then you are to roll in a circular form don't roll forever stop lift your fondants to ensure that it does not stick to the table dust your table Are we following? Yes. So keep on rolling. Roll to the front. Roll to the back. Stop. Don't roll forever. Lift it up to ensure that it does not stick to the table. Dust. Look for where that is still, you know, bulky. Then roll. You spread. Spread. Rolling pin are in sizes. This is a medium size. There's the bigger one. Now, we are done. You must not roll your fondant too thin. Can we see? Too thin. This is okay. When you want to cover, before you place your fondant on the cake, ensure that what you have rolled can cover the size of the cake. Ensure. Do we see? Now, you need a smooth. This is a cake smoother. This is a pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Cake smooth. Our rolling pin. Now, start smoothing. You need a turntable. Instead of turning your cake, you can put your cake on the turntable. And start smoothing. Spread out, spread out. You don't. You have to be gentle with it. Do we see? Small, small. Think till you finish. Cut the excess after you have finished covering your cake with your pizza cutter. Cut the excess. Trim it. Now use your smoother. You will still see if there is any excess there. Your smoother is very important while you are covering your cake. Remove the excess. Smooth. It will show you if there is any excess there. Continue. As well. While you have covered your cake, put your cake aside. The remaining fondant knead it together. Knead it together. Do not allow here to penetrate. Knead it together. Let it form a ball and keep it in, in an enclosed place. 